my name's April Robbins. I don't, <laughs> I don't know what else to say. I'm a wife and mother of two boys. Um, Dominic is seven and Dean is 14. My mother was Presbyterian and she took us to church early in my life. But I remember maybe around junior high, um, we didn't really go much of that. So as, as we got older, we were less involved in church. My father had been Catholic and um, his life, a lot of his early life is a mystery to me. Basically what we were told growing up was that his life was so bad with his family that he didn't talk about it. And somewhere along the line, the idea came into it that he, that that's why he'd been turned off from being a Catholic, that something that his parents did. So, um, so he didn't go to church at all, and he was kind of a science guy. He didn't really talk about religion. He didn't put it down, but there was just nothing from him. And my mom, even though she took us to church, she was sort of, I would sort of joke, she went for the donuts and coffee. She went for the fellowship and the friends rather than, you know, to pass anything on to us. I later worked for the county nursing home system here in, in Pittsburgh as a social service caseworker. And um, of course, it's, it's a secular institution, but my supervisor at the time was Catholic. And um, there was a priest that was, you know, came regularly to the center. And um, I think I was influenced by that and just dealing with death and suffering. At the same time in, in, our, in uh, my personal life, we, um, there was a death in the family. And um, it was a, um, a step relative who had um, died fairly young. I think he was about 36 and he had two small children and a wife. And uh, so, and on top of that, um, I was looking at um, my 10-year high school reunion was being planned and I had reconnected with some people that I knew from high school. So one of those friends had sent this story to me over email, like that kind of chain email thing, and it was a story um, and the message was that you have to get your priorities in, in place. It was like a professor and students and he was putting rocks in a container and I can't remember, but she sent me that. And then within like days of that, we go to this funeral and bi now Bishop Zubik was the priest that did that mass um, because he knew the family. And he told that story, the exact same wording in the homily. And I was like, oh, well, like twice in the same week. Um, maybe, you know, and at the time, again, I had sort of, been thinking about maybe I should be religious, maybe I should be Catholic for a while and had a lot of sort of examples um, in work and in personal life to follow, but it was that where it was like, okay, you should get the story, you know, the big rocks in first, um, you know, before everything, little things in life fill up. And so I went and very soon after that, um, started our CIA at the parish that we lived closest to and um, came into church there, or came into the Catholic church there. 